Hey everybody, this is The Last of In Game to you. Welcome back to more Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we completed Glutton's Kitchen and got half of a purple potion in the meantime, at the end of the day. And in this episode, we are going to be returning back to the Awakening Wood, hopefully getting a couple of above-ground treasures. But, that's not my main goal here for today. If you remember here, there's some wild Pikmin out in the distance. We're going to be getting said wild Pikmin. I'm going to have Louie take out a... I think 60 yellows will do. Alright. Hurry up. I'm going to disband and have Almar carry these guys over to where we need to go. I'm going to keep Louie at base in case we need to do some other stuff, but at this point we don't need to do anything with this spider wart. Oh right, the cloaking burrow in it respawned, I forgot. I'm going to have the other Pikmin. Okay, for a second there I thought that was going to stab me instead of them. Okay. Looks like we can get a treasure today, so... There we go. That works. I'm gonna keep those ten over there, and I'm gonna have these ten carry something else back. Oh yeah, Creeping Strength Bomb, I forgot that was there. Anyways, I'm going to have these... I'm gonna have these yellows go over there. Also, fun fact in this game, if you try to throw a large number of Pikmin over to one spot and you spin the control stick around like crazy while you're throwing them, you can throw the Pikmin a little bit faster, just not too fast. and. The cloaking baronet is heading toward me in the cutscene. Anyways, ooh, blue Pikmin! Hooray! Look there, wild blue Pikmin chasing prey near the water's edge. Perhaps by observing these wild specimens, we can understand more about their true nature. Certing, I apologize. I was momentarily entranced by them. Back to work. Get back to work! Ah! What the? Cutscene? Come on! Seriously? You're about to get me injured here. You're about to get my space... This cutscene is about to pluck a hole in my spacesuit that'll leak poisonous oxygen inside of me. Carmex. Healing cast. There we go. There we go. And... I'm so glad I did not get hurt there. Anyways... Wow, I'm surprised it was able to kill the Cloaking Baronet so easily. Anyways. Anyway, oh yeah, I forgot that. I get immunity to electricity. <laughs> I already have immunity to electricity, and I already completely forgot, despite the fact that I am recording this video the same day as the last one. Which was recorded the day after the last episode was uploaded. Anyways, I'm not going to... He's back. I'm going to help out with the purples. I'm gonna bring out some purples and kill some other stuff that are along the way. And... Nah. I'm gonna take out 15 purples. Okay. This should be enough of a decoy. And I'm probably gonna have Louie just bring the yellows back to where the, to the onion where they belong as soon as the gate is destroyed. Mainly because the blues are really going to be finding a huge amount of screen time here, and yeah. Dead. Alright. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up! Spit out the Pikmin faster, please! Anyways. And... DESTROY! KILL! DESTROY! Actually, I should have said destroy, build, destroy. <laughs> I only watched a handful of episodes of that game show. Actually, wait, no. I did not expect that to be broken down so quickly. Anyways, I'm gonna have Louie take these guys back. And Olimar... Whistle the Blues. <laughs> At last, you've encountered them! They seem to have gill-like ducks on their cheeks. They must be blue Pikmin, like the other types, they look to you for direction. 
And yeah, he ste still seems long for a valiant leader, which is why the Pikmin are <sighs> Pikmin are just so happy to see us. Anyways, it just kind of reminds me of how the health house elves and Harry Potter just like being enslaved instead of like wanting to be free. Well, of course, Dobby being the exception. Anyways, I am going to bring these guys back to base. I am actually wait. Up. I am going to wait. Yeah, I'm gonna go switch back and forth constantly so that. Okay. And I'm gonna be switching back and forth constantly so that I can keep plucking these guys and while they keep bringing these things back to base because believe me so wait no I'm gonna have Louie bring some of the yellows back up here I'm gonna throw 15 yellows up here there we go and I'm gonna have Almar bring these guys back again and have them keep attacking the wog poles this is basically baby wally wogs like I mentioned in the first game yeah, they're a bit more of a pain in the butt in this game, but in the first game, they're pr relatively easy to kill. But in this game, actually, no, I haven't fought Wong Poles in the first game for a very long time, and I don't remember any fights I had in Pikmin 3 with them. Alright! Eh, did not mean to go under there. Anyways, what I meant to do is Zeus. Okay, I'm gonna bring these guys back to base. Actually, wait, no. I'm going to pluck all these guys out of here. And trust me, you don't want both captains here at the same time, otherwise you're just gonna waste a bunch of time here. I'm hoping to pluck all the blues that I have that I want to collect here in a single day. So, I... Oh! I forgot there was another wog pole there, okay. I'm gonna have that one blue over there. Oh. I'm gonna have these guys take care of that. Well, I'm gonna have a bunch of other blues worry about that wog pole. And I'm gonna bring these guys back to base. Guys. Actually, I'm gonna have them work on this so that I can just keep moving back and forth. And they made it out of the water. Okay. I'm gonna have the yellows carry this back instead because I want the, all the blues with me to take on something else at the same time, so. All right, you got... What the hell is wrong with these yellows? They're right next to the object, yet they're not willing to do a damn thing about it. Is it stuck? What is this? Okay, that just wasted a crap amount of t just a large amount of time. Okay. Come on, yellows. Why aren't these yellows wanting to help? Come on, guys! That was Stupid. Okay, that was a really stupid glitch I didn't know existed. Anyways. Uh, oh, hello. I got another blue over here. Come on, hurry up. Thank you. I'm gonna have these guys carry back the cloaking burrow nits that are in the ground. And once they grow up... Well, once these guys sprout... Okay, I'm gonna have 11 carry that. I'm gonna have 12 carry this guy over here. And... Bam! Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna have Louie... Oh! Hello! <laughs> that was kind of funny. Anyways, I'm going to... Go over to the grass right here and... See how much nectar I can pluck out. Alright, at least I got something here. Oh, come on. Oh, Mario Paints, right. Decorative goo. Clever name. Hey, wait. Oh, where the hell am I going? All right. I need to get back over here. 
Do 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 do. All right, hurry up, please. All right, those. I only got two things of nectar. Seriously. Screw you guys. Anyways, I am going to put the. Bleh. Actually, I really should be putting the yellows back, not the purples. There we go. And I'm also going to take out the blues that are already putting the onions at the time. Okay, so there were four. All right, that's fine. I'm going to just keep moving around here and just keep plucking these guys. All right. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to hope that there is a honey wisp over by the edge of the spider wart so that I can get some nectar out of that. Yeah, those enemies over there, the ravenous whisker pillows, they can screw themselves in a ditch for all I care. And... Are you kidding me? Yep, oh, screw it. Screw it, come on. Come on. Screw it. I just want to flowerize my guys. Ah, oh, god damn it. I was really hoping to say that for the other Wow, not even all of them carried it back. Okay, that sucks. Come on guys! Guys, don't carry that back. Carry these, please. Alright. Also gonna have these guys carry this back. I'm also going to work on the Whisker Pillow. Not the Whisker Pillows. I'm going to work on the Cloaking Burrow Net, other Cloaking Burrow Net, and the Creeping Chrysanthemum. Then I'm probably just going to end off the day there and finish up. Yeah. And bam! Okay, that works. And you know what? <clears throat> Because I want to. Actually, wait, no. I'm going to. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm still recovering from a slight cold. All that's left is a slight amount of mucus that's in my throat, and it's preventing me from. It's making my throat a little itchy, but it's not really doing anything too bad to me. So, yeah, it's not that detrimental. Anyways. Well, I should be getting done with this a lot sooner than I thought I would be. I'm just hoping that I can get done with this soon enough. Okay, I decided to cut my cut ahead to myself heading over to base so that I can get this done. And... Hurry up! And I want to break down this wall before the day ends, even though I'm probably not going to get done what I want to get done today. Actually, wait, I might. I just realized that... That leads to the spider wart that I'm hoping to get to. And yeah, I'm not able to... Oh! Looks like I might be able to get another potion today after all, but I gotta move quickly. Or rather, these guys need to move quickly. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I wanna get this last bit of freaking potion. I wanna get this last bit of potion. I wanna have at least two potions before moving on to the next day. Doesn't look like that's happening, but oh. Wow! One of them was not included into the group. Okay. Oh well. Actually, it looks like I might be- I am able to get the potion, okay! Let's just hope that this happens- gets done in time. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. And... You guys need to come with me. Oh great, the blues are just gonna cause these to slow down. Come on. I just need the flowers to hurry up with this. Please, please. And... Bingo! I got everything done that I wanted to get done today, including a bonus treasure. I was only expecting to get one treasure today. I wasn't expecting to get two. Anyways, I got everything I wanted to get done today. Done today. Yes. Well, that was cutting it pretty close. I wasn't expecting to make it there. But I did use pretty good use of the purple po to, uh, not purple potion, the red potions. Whew, I made pretty good use of the red potions. 
A lot of people just use that in battle. Personally, I like to use that to get through obstacles really quickly. They are helpful in speeding up battles, just not really good with, like, battles themselves. And, wow, now the enemies came after the ship. I'm impressed. Anyways, now that we're done with that... Today's reports. 140 Pocos, not bad. Now we have obtained every Pikmin type in the entire game. And we don't really need to raise any other Pikmin to either, I pretty sure we got we've got pretty much every all the Pikmin that we need for the rest of the game. Except for purples and whites, of course. Hello, I am still on the AM from Depth Collector, so the time being I've decided to live under the bridge. But if they catch me, I don't know what they'll do to me. Oh well. Let's just hope that he dodges the deck collectors quite easily. Anyways, I'm gonna save this for now. And next time on Pikmin 2, we are going to finally return to the Valley of Repose after I don't know how many episodes, probably like 10 episodes, and start getting some new things done there. See you guys then.